Good morning, guys. It's your uh, Coach Dave here. It is Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Wednesdays is normally my rest day for lift four in the test group. Kristen and I are in week six, um, but Wednesdays, for those of you who have been following me for a while, know within this test group, um, it's a rest day, but it's a rest day to do what you want and anything else, be active in your lifestyle. So for me, I went for almost a four mile run today to get my day set and set my mind right and set my intentions for the day to be successful. And today's run, just so you know, is in memory of this shirt here, is in memory of my best friend that was shot and killed in the line of duty on April 25th, 2007. I know Dave is up there watching us. That's his shield, 4531. This is a shirt we had made um, for him back in the day and I wanted to wear it today during today's run um, just in memory of him it's a cycling shirt but I usually wear it when I'm running so my message to you guys today that I really want to drive home is going after whatever goals it is that you're trying to achieve or whatever goals it is that you like to achieve but you're coming up with reasons of why you don't have time I want to let you know that there is no warm-up in life there is no, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. There is no practice in life. There is no warm up. You only got today, the, the, the 86,400 seconds that you have each and every day is the only thing that in fact you have to work with every single day. And this is the thing, many people, many people have failed at doing things they don't love to do. Many people have failed in their life because they're working at a job that they don't like. Many people have failed not going after those goals and dreams that they want, knowing that there's other things that they would in fact like to do. So my challenge and question to you guys is the fact, if you know you can fail, right, at things you don't even want to be doing, why not worth, why not make it worth, sorry, I'm out of breath, why not make it worth trying to go after the things that you want to do? Because you may fail anyway, but the thing is, if you're doing something you don't like right now, or if you're not comfortable in your skin right now, you're failing right now. If you're not happy with where your weight is, if you're not happy with the level of fitness you are at, if you're not happy with the career path you're in, if you're not happy with the way you are a parent, I can tell you right now, you're failing at whatever it is you're doing right now. So if you know, in fact, that you're failing now, why not go after something that you know you'd love to do or go after those goals and dreams because you have a chance of actually succeeding so often so many people think that they'll get it done tomorrow or the next day or the next month but I keep reminding everybody this person right here I was on the phone with him one day and the next day I was frantically dialing his cell phone when I heard that a state trooper was shot and I was trying to get in touch with him not realizing my best friend was the one that lost his life so my challenge to you guys is stop thinking that you have all the time in the world because you don't Stop waiting for your kids to get older, kids for the summer, kids to get out of school, whatever other excuse you tell me, because you may not have that opportunity. You are where you are because of the, the you are the sum of the decisions and choices you made up until this point, period. You are a product of the decisions and choices you made up until this point. And until we eventually stop looking to our left and looking to our right and blaming other people and realize the only person that matters is the person that you see in the mirror every day that's gonna make a difference and then and only then will you get where you wanna go. You have a choice. Maybe you can't control what happens to you every day, but you 100% can control how you react and the choices you make going forward. So I want you to think big. I want you to have big goals and big dreams because if you can't think it, you can't achieve it, right? The last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about, patience. There's something out in the far west, a Chinese bamboo tree. And the Chinese bamboo tree is in the ground and it has to be watered for five years every single day without stopping. And people that didn't know about this tree would look at these people that would water this plant every single day for five years. And they look at them like you're crazy, like, hey, David, what are you doing? You've been watering the ground, this bare spot for five years. But what they don't realize is after the fifth year, it grows 90 feet in five weeks. 
90 feet in five weeks. So the question is, did it grow 90 feet in five weeks or did it grow 90 feet in five years? And the answer is it grew 90 feet in five years. But most often people aren't willing to have the patience to what it is to be successful. And a lot of times people quit and people stop. And I wanna let you know that 98% of society lives life by default, meaning they let the people around them and the opinions that they become, the opinions of other people become their reality, they let other people's opinions become a reality, they let the negative voices step in, they let fear creep in, they're not patient, we want, we want results now and therefore we fail. The Chinese bamboo tree took five years to break ground and then grew 90 feet in five weeks. So again, guys, in summary, if you're not happy with whatever it is in your life, then I can say that's something of failure in your life right now. Why not go after something you know you will love and take the risk because you're failing anyway at the moment. Have big goals, have big dreams. If you think it, you can achieve it, but you gotta think it and believe in yourself. And last but not least, have patience. Have patience and don't let somebody else's opinion of you become their, become your reality. Have an amazing Wednesday. Time to go inside. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes. It's 6.30 in the morning. Got to get dressed for an amazing day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.